Hello, 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 Virgo. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I hope this reading that I do for you will resonate with you in one shape, form, or fashion. Don't forget, if you have not already done so, to like, subscribe, and share. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay? We are almost at 10,000. This is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's get started. This message is for you, Virgo. Take what you need and leave the rest. Starting with the Hierophant. So let's mess just for the Hierophant. We've got the Death Court. Hierophant and the Death Court. All right. What a message of spirit do we have for the earthly Virgo? This is rewards coming to you. Um, just because something ended doesn't mean it's the end of the road for you. Hmm. I'm hearing that song. Now that we've come. To the end of the road. Mm -mm. Nope. This is not the end of the road. You better believe it. We got the Four of Cups. We got a lot of people who are in their feelings and emotions about some things. A relationship or something is no longer in your life. It's like it's over with, but it's just beginning for you, Virgo. I want to put that song by Boys to Men, End of the Road, into uh in the comment section for you but virgo it's not over it's not over just yet because you're still manifesting somebody okay you're still manifesting something in your life you're equal because we have the king of cups okay i mean like i said whatever happened here maybe they didn't want you did you ever think about that maybe the situation didn't want you to be in the energy or in the end this could be a male or a female who didn't want you uh sometimes we just got to uh understand not everybody wants us, okay? And this person possibly didn't want you. They, want, they weren't ready for you, okay? And sometimes you have to think of it that way, like, wow, this person really didn't want me. They treated me like they didn't want me. They told me that they didn't want me. They showed me that they didn't want me. So sometimes you got to believe them when they show you, Virgo. You really do, okay? But you wanted to give this person your cup. OK, and this person was ignoring you. Maybe you didn't hear from this person. This person ghosted you. They blacklisted you. They did whatever they could, you know, and they were ignoring you. OK, and but you want to keep giving your feelings and emotions and your time to this person. But you know what? Let it go. OK. Uh, and some of you are possibly still um, checking up on this person, doing your own tarot readings, watching tarot readings, possibly texting this person, waiting for this person to call you, whatever. But you got another cup out here for you. That there's somebody else out there for you, okay? That the, that your higher self is trying to get you to understand. You know, there's some other person or another opportunity out there for you, okay? But I kind of feel like this this person keeps on moving further away from you because you're still trying to get something that they don't want you, or the situation calls for you to let it let it let it go, to cut ties with it, to, to to cut the cords with it. It was something that was very important to you. It could have been a relationship, it could have been a job. This could be somebody in your family who you really care about. You keep trying and trying, but this person doesn't want to hear it. Wash your hands and let it go. Because whatever it is you're doing, you're manifesting something better. Okay. You're manifesting a better position in your life. This is the end of the motherfucking road. Let it go. Okay. Let it go. That's what I'm hearing. Don't, don't, don't do it. You know, it's time for you to be independent of this person, independent of this individual. Okay. Your independence is the foundation for your strength and success. Let it go. Okay. This is something that you're manifesting. This is something that you need to do. This is something that unconsciously you've been doing anyway. Okay. Virgo is coming to the end of the road. See, yeah, listen, people go. It's time for you to start delegating. It's, start, it's time for you to ask others, including here, Green Tara, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. But this is a perfect opportunity for you to learn to be by yourself, for you to learn to handle situations by yourself instead of asking people for help or instead of waiting for somebody to do it when you can do it your damn self. Okay. When you can do it yourself, you, you may as well. Um, Bobby Brown said something in, in um, his song. Um, that song, oh, uh, shoot, yeah. the ghost movie, okay? If you want something done, you got to you gotta do it yourself. You know, if you want something done, Virgo, you got to do it yourself. But, um, shoot. The 
these songs come to me, but I can't really think of the name of them. It was a Bobby Brown song on our own. He said, when the first line of his song, he said, when you want something done, you got to do it yourself, Virgo. That's what you got to do. He didn't say Virgo, but you get it. If you want something done, you got to do it yourself. So, because I see independent here. You, you are independent to a fault. Okay. You do too much, but some of you... You do so much for, for other people, but it's like when you need them, clearly they're not going to do it. So you might as well as not even bring it up to their attention and just do it your damn self, you know, because they've grown so much. They've grown so dependent on you that they're going to expect for you to do it anyway. So why ask them when you know damn well that they're not going to do it? Do it yourself. OK, just let it go. Mm -mm. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Having to let some things go. Doing things their, themselves. And it coming to the end of the road. Create your sick create you a see uh create yourself a sacred place in your own um here in your own kingdom. Okay, in your own uh sheikdom, wherever it is that you're laying, you're laying your head. But this is you create an altar or visit a power place to reconnect with the divine spirit wants you to create a sacred place in your home where you are right now. Just in the comfort of your own home, but but because it's nothing between you and spirit, but there's space and opportunity. Okay. But it's definitely something that you're seeking, that you're that you're maybe seeking to go to spirit about. All right. And this is a perfect opportunity on your own. Okay. I want to put both of those songs out, as a matter of fact, in the description section for you. So you can listen to On Our Own by Bobby Brown. And um End of the road by boys to men. Yeah, uh, you have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Some of you all not want it. Maybe you're agoraphobic. For some of you just don't want to go outside. You don't want to be bothered. You don't want to see anybody. Maybe you're going in hermit mode because you don't want to run into people who have hurt you. Okay, uh, you have done some things for people who have wronged you. You just don't want to be bothered. And I get that. I understand. But you got to go outside to go to the store to go to work if you have a job. If you have a job. Okay. But it's like this person is, is has ignored your offer, what was in your cup. You want you to talk to this person. You tell this person you loved him, her, you cared about the situation or whatever. Okay. So it's like, you don't, this person said no, you know, but you're like, damn, you know, they don't want what's in my cup. I, I feel like I'm worthless. So I feel like nobody loves me. I feel like I'm, I'm unworthy to be loved by anybody, you know? So it makes you feel sad about yourself. I'm hearing it made you feel dispassionate about yourself. So now it's like your higher self is saying, hold on, Virgo, just chill out, chill the fuck out. That, you know, take your time, you know, heal. You need to do some inner healing, some inner soul work with yourself and, and understand that you're pushing the trueness away from you, the true person away from you, okay, who is already within your energy field, but you're pushing them away because you're still focused on this past person. Let it go, all right? Or this past person, this past situation. Let's clarify the hierarchy here. This could have been a really committed connection for you, Virgo, but I just feel like it's time for you to move forward to, to look at things differently than the way you've been looking at them. We have a new pathway here, okay? A new path is starting here with this Hierophant card because I think Spirit wants you to look at life, look at your life's path differently. Some of you all are in the winter. You may be walking. We're headed into winter, the winter months now. And this is you basically getting back into, into basics, but also maybe walking outside and meeting somebody new, somebody who is seeking the same thing that you are seeking, some peace of mind, okay? The Spirit is saying it's your turn to be happy. It's your turn to see what good things are out there for you. Good things are headed your way. You have a lot of different things, but you all, some of y'all are definitely in a dark place, okay? Because we have here death. So something has ended in your life. So you're finding yourself in a dark place, a dark, a dark head space based on um, your feelings and emotions. And spirit understands. Spirit gets that, okay? But some, see, spirit is in your house right now. Mm, we got spirit, we got house, okay? Um, maybe somebody wants to move, okay? I'm getting some messages here. Spirit wants to move, okay? Someone wants to move because a strong spirit is in their house, okay? Uh, maybe a negative spirit. Maybe you need to get some um, 
Um, if you need to get some some sage and sage your home or something, but there's a, a definitely strong spirit in your house. But the spirit is more than likely trying to get your attention. I don't think it's anything to be afraid of, but definitely there's a strong presence in your home. But honestly, I think that this is just spirit trying to communicate with you. Okay. But spirit wants you to trust. Okay. If this spirit is, or you feel like a spirit is in your house, there's going to be more going on within your home this year. Okay. Spirit wants you to know that. Okay. So if you're, if you're seeing things or feeling some, some unfamiliar energy in your home, that's just spirit trying to get your attention. And yeah, somebody's, somebody's living in a haunted house. I'm going to say that too. Okay. That's why spirit, for some of you, if you feel like a, a strong energy or strong presence is in your house, create that altar. Okay, make sure, making sure that you spray your altar, making sure you spray your home, making sure you bless your home as well. All right. And I'm hearing to say, uh, I don't know if, if somebody's doing some ghost, trying to do some ghost hunting in your home. You don't need to be doing that if you don't know what you're doing. Just stop. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. And do not use a Ouija board. Something about somebody's doing some amateur ghost hunting or something like that. If that's something that you're doing, if you don't know how to do that correctly, don't do it. All right. All right, just fair warning. Message for Virgo coming to the end of the road. We got the death card again. We got the heartbreak here. Okay, definitely some heartache and pain going on here. And I get you. I, and it doesn't even have to be just a relationship. It could be anything in your life that's giving you a lot of heartache and pain, and it's hard for you to let it go. In some dark head spaces right now, Virgo. Something in your home is really bothering you, but it, this, it's not really bothering you. It's, it's hurting. It's hurting you. It's breaking your heart, but you will conquer this. Whatever is going on in your home is really bothering you. And spirit wants you to enjoy your home. Okay. But right now it's impossible for you to do that possibly because you got something going on within the elements, within the people, Virgo living in your home. Okay. Um, so I told my daughter when I got home, she I sent her a text message and told her she didn't she couldn't take out the, she couldn't put the trash cans back in the backyard, you know. So this one she said, "Oh my gosh, when I was when I get back when I got back home, you just have to say something I didn't do." You know, this is real shitty because I'm telling you about the trash cans that you know supposed to go in the back, you know. And I said, shaking my head, don't even trip. I got this, you know, and I said, the next time you ask me for, for anything, remember that, remember what you just said. And I followed that up. The last thing I said to her tonight, I'm just going to enjoy my evening peace. And I left it at that. And look, I got here. Enjoy home conquer. So yeah, Virgo, you want, you know, we go through some, some things in our lives and you wonder why do we go through the things that we do? Can't blame it on spirit. You can't blame it on God. You know, you got to put that blame where it belongs on the people who's causing you that heartache and pain, causing you that angst. Okay. Spirit wants you to enjoy your life and conquer those demons. And something is coming to an end. Something that's, that's hurting you is it's coming to the end of the road for you. You got to let it go. Okay. No matter what it is. Okay, spirit. Coming to the end of the road for Virgo. Three of cups. So it's more than you, just you. You aren't the only person going through this, Virgo. You're not the first and you won't be the, you, you won't be the last. Everybody's going through a little something in our lives right now. It just depends on the element that you're in, the drama around you. Everybody's going through it, okay? Everybody's going through a little hurt right now, okay? A little heartache and pain. But Spirit is saying, you're going to conquer this. You're going to get over this. Don't, don't worry about this. You know, you got this. You're going to be, re, re, Spirit, Spirit wants you to be resilient, okay? Don't be paranoid about the situation. You've come through a lot of tougher situations before. You're going to come through this one too just fine. I'm hearing you're going to come through unscathed. Like I'm saying, safe, you know? Enjoy where you are. Enjoy where you lay your head, okay? Coming to the end of the road for Virgo. <clears throat> coming to the end of the row we have you have this inner wisdom all right you know what to do trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay just don't worry about it okay you can't you can't let stuff keep on bothering you you can um, you can conquer this you know look you may love some people yes or go but sometimes you gotta let a person go let that person fly the fuck away from you all right and don't even trip don't even worry about it. you say your prayers about that person and let it go okay 
it's like me and my daughter are strangers and it's so sad i gave birth to you you know but sometimes you all you want you 18 years old and think she know it all sometimes you just gotta let them fall on their faces okay we have her unconceived unconditional love i love her to death don't get me wrong okay love yourself and others in every situation no matter what the hour appearances may be unconditional love you still love them with kindness virgo Love them with kindness. That's all you can do. Here we go home again. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So, yeah, some changes are coming to your home life. Maybe somebody you don't really, really get along with in your home life is moving the fuck out. <laughs> My daughter moving out. She 18. And she don't have a job. Who moving out? Or could it be me? <laughs> but there's definitely going to be a home, something around your home that's going to be different, that's going to change. Like I said, a move. Could be somebody moving in, Virgo. Could be somebody moving out. But whatever it is, there's a lesson to be learned for you. Chill out. Okay? Chill out. Because the bottom of the deck I have here, fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Okay? You know they're saying, God don't like no, God don't like ugly. So whatever somebody's doing to you that, that God knows, that God deems is not right, don't worry about it. There's no nothing else that you need to do but sit back <clears throat> and relax. This coming to the end of the road situation for Virgo. See, remain positive. Spirit wants you to remain positive because this is something that's really hard right now for you. And this is not over with. So something real, really, really hard is about to happen in somebody's life that you know, okay? Spirit is gonna be fair with this person for doing the things that they have done to not only themselves, but to you. And I'm telling you, mark my word, words. I did a reading a while ago. I said, let that tower fall in order for this person to get their shit together. It's about to happen, fair positive, hard, it's happened. Something's going to happen to this person or something's going to happen in somebody's life that you know who has done you wrong. The spirit, God does not like ugly. God's going to get ready to turn things around and spirit wants you to have faith. Okay? Spirit wants you to have faith because spirit is finna, finna wreck some shit. Okay? I'm for real. I'm, I'm telling you, mark my words. I don't say that often in my readings, but you know, <laughs> It's, it's, and spirit is going to do even more for you this coming year. Spirit has a lot of plans for you. A lot of plans for you, Virgo. A lot of plans for your house again, okay? There's some strong shit going on in your home right now. Some strong energy that spirit does not like. Some stuff that's going on that you don't even know about. The spirit's going to say, I got this. I'm, I'm getting ready to move that mountain. <laughs> spirit is getting ready to move these obstacles that are in your way in your home. I really, really feel, Virgo, sincerely that something's going to happen to, to this person, like my daughter, the shit that I've been telling you all about, they're going to have to, they're going to have to hit rock bottom. And, and I, I think that this is going to be the point to where it's going to be hard for you to see. Okay. It's going to be hard for you to accept what's about to happen in this person's life or the energy around you. But spirit wants you to remain positive and just have faith because I got this. Okay, they've been unfair to you. They've been treating you like this. They've been talking to you like they ain't got no motherfucking sense. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to fix that mouth. I'm going to fix that attitude. Okay, I'm going to screw the head off and screw it back on as tight as I possibly can so it won't get out, out of whack or a catty wampus ever again. So, Spirit wants you to keep the faith. And Spirit wants you to remain positive. It's going to be a hard transition for you. I'm hearing it's going to be a hard situation, something hard for you to watch. And I'm telling you, if, it, if if this happens with my daughter, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to charge with you, whatever it is. Spirit is telling you, you think too hard. Let it go. Don't even think about this. You think about this, you don't get any sleep at night, Virgo. This is a fresh start for you and for them. Spirit wants you to get some rest. Okay? Get some rest. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. And just shh. When that person wants to say something, shh. Don't say anything back. Try your best not to say anything back if you can. Sometimes it's shit hard as hell, but do it, okay? It's time for you to let some things go, let some people go, okay? It's time for cleansing detox of your mind and your body and the people around you. I'm hearing in your environment, okay? Making sure you're drinking some water too. I don't know. Somebody needs to drink, put a little salt in your water, I'm hearing. Something about the salt water will help you too for whatever reason. 
But I do see a lot of things coming for you. A lot of things coming for a change, but the change is for the better. It's going to make you healthier and it's going to make your environment healthier. This change is for you too, but mostly for your environment. Okay, let's get the final message for Virgo. Final message overall for Virgo coming to the end of the road. Coming for the end of the road, Virgo. Money, prosperity, and transformation coming for you. Okay. The universe is pouring in, in its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving not only monetarily gains, but spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. You're going to transform. Okay. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. You got some changes coming and these changes aren't going to be easy. I'm, I guarantee you they're not going to be easy. All right. But they're needed. They're not going to be easy, Virgo, but they're going to be needed. They're not going to be easy, but they're going to be needed, all right? They're going to be hard. I ain't going to lie about that. It's going to be hard to see this person experience what they're about to experience because they keep fucking with you, and spirit's not having it no more. Your ancestors aren't having it anymore. It's time for justice to be served, all right? Talk to you later.